First, we are going to define the pin that the trigger signal will be sent to. Then initialize the serial communication to 9600. Next, we set the end stop pin as input with pull up resistor. And finally for the setup section, we will print an initial message before waiting for the end stop to trigger. In this case, we will just set this to waiting for switch. Now in the loop section, we will first read the switch pin state using digital read. Each time the loop runs the switch pin will be read, if pressed then the value of switch pin state will be set to low. Next, we add an if condition. If the value of the switch pin state is equal to low, then we will print a message to indicate the switch has been pressed. Then finally we are going to add in a delay, so that the message is not printed multiple times when the switch is pressed. We have received a validation error because an equal sign is missing when setting the pin value. Now that is corrected we can open the serial monitor and see if our code works. If I press the switch a few times, we will see our print message appear. Here is a wiring diagram showing how I have connected the end stop. The same wiring applies for all other models.